Hi, my name is Dan, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a simple closed circuit television system in your Unreal project. Uh, what I'm going to show you is actually applicable in lots of different circumstances. It doesn't have to be for CCTV, you can use it for mini maps, uh, you can use it for particular uh, interfaces that you want to have. Uh, basically, all it's doing is it's taking uh, the idea of a camera, which can take uh, video or pictures of any way you want, in this case it's going to be on the scene, and sticking it into a uh, user interface widget uh, so that it can be displayed. So let's talk through the setup. I've got a normal third person template map, nothing uh, particular added to there at the moment. Um, I've done a couple of things uh, in the settings. So I've got in the uh, maps and modes, I've created my own controller, so that can be expanded and give it some uh, functionality in there. And uh, the other thing I've done is some input. I've created a uh, an action mapping called CCTV to the PC. Okay. And then inside the controller, which has been plugged in, I've uh, set up and begin play. I'm creating a widget. We'll have a look at the widget in a second. Uh, added it to the viewport, but set the visibility to hidden and uh, plug that into a variable which I've got over here, which allows me to control it later. Um, and then later on, I'm using that action event uh, that I created uh, called action event CCTV. And when that's the C keys pressed, it will toggle the visibility of this widget. Uh, and so uh, let's go and have a look at the widget. Um, so this is it, called Dan CCTV. And it's got in it an image. And at the moment, I've plugged into this image a grass texture, uh, just as a placeholder. Okay. Um, and the final thing that I've done is I've created a Blueprint class uh, that I'm going to use for my, for my actual camera. So let's quickly demonstrate it working. It's just got this grass texture at the moment. So the normal uh, playing mode, you just kind of run around, do whatever you like. And then when I press the C key, that grass texture is displayed. I press it again, and it's hidden. And the controls are still active. So let's get myself to the top of this ramp here, press C, and walk sideways, and you'll see that I've come down. At the moment, obviously, I can't see what's going on whilst that widget is active uh, because it fills the whole screen with this grass texture. Uh, but what's going to happen is, uh, by the time we get to the end, is that we're actually going to be able to use this widget to have an overview of the uh, of the little level that we've got here. And so we will be able to see the, the um, character still moving around. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, <clears throat> alter this blueprint class here. I'll open the full blueprint editor because I haven't got any elements in it yet. Um, and the element that I'm going to add is called uh, 2D scene capture. Uh, scene capture component 2D. It looks like a camera and it acts like a camera. Um, and the reason why we use the 2D version of this is because our target that we're sending it to eventually is going to be 2D because it's just a, a, a flat image that we wanted to render to. Now, the next thing we want to do is uh, get one of those in the world and position it. And I want to show you a little trick here, which is if you right click that, uh, you can go to pilot and you can pilot something with the camera. In. And move it around, and uh, that should just about do it nicely. And so, if I then come to the top left here, stop piloting an actor, and if we go and have a look, that's actually moved the camera into the position that we want so it can uh, see what it can see. You could spend ages trying to move that around and getting it to the right position just by guesswork, uh, but that piloting trick is really, a really useful thing. Right. Uh, so the next thing we want is um, we want to work out how to go from what's being created by the camera into displaying it on this 
this widget and there's a couple of intermediary steps that we need to make that happen. So the first thing that we need is we need to actually create what's called a render target. So a render target is something that will take something that, like, like this camera, which will take pictures and will uh, allow us to actually effectively use that as if it was a texture. And this is in materials and textures and it's called render target just here. And it's a 2D render target is what we want because we, everything we're doing is beginning with 2D. So this creates an asset, which is this render target. And I'm just going to call this down CCTV underscore RT for render target. Okay. Back into the camera. And we're going to get hold of that. And down here in the settings, it asks for a texture target. As you might guess, what's going to happen now is we're going to plug that render target in now that it's been created so that it knows that it's, uh, when it's rendering, it's turning it into this texture. And uh, as you can see already in the preview here, it's given us that view that that camera's given. Uh, so if you compile that. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to then turn this into a material. So you've probably done the process before of using a straightforward texture and a straightforward material. This is similar, except the two ends of it aren't quite so straightforward. So we're going to create a new material. Um, I'm going to call this Dan CCTV underscore Matt. Uh, there's a little trick that I'm using here is that everything that I'm creating has got the uh, the prefix Dan. And when you're searching for things, if you've used a prefix that's common to things in your um, in your project, then it makes it easier to find your stuff as opposed to stuff in other packages that you've maybe downloaded or on the starter content and things. So um, I, I often use prefixes in my assets. Okay, we'll go to the material editor. Now, at the moment, by default, it's set up for the kind of material that you would put on a surface of an object that's in the world. And uh, we want to change that. And we can change that here with the setting material domain. And at the moment, it's set to surface. And we're going to set it to user interface, which is, is going to be used in the UMG, um, which is the widget graphics. And then we want a, a node which represents the texture. And in fact, this is just uh, the normal texture sample node. We don't need to plug in any UVs uh, because this will supply them for itself and work it out. Uh, and it's telling me, I've plugged it into there, it's telling me there's no texture. So I'm uh, highlighting that. And over here, we're able to choose a texture to plug in. I'm going to use the button box and again, because I've used the down prefix, it makes it easier, easier to find. I'm going to use that render target because it recognizes that in the list of textures that we can use. So I'm going to plug in that render target, and as you can see, our little picture is being um, displayed there. So I'm going to click apply. Final stage, we're nearly there, uh, is to get this into our widget. So that's the widget that we've got. And at the moment, we've got the grass texture on it. It's an image, as we showed before, and over here it's just asking for something to do with the image. And we're going to use you now that material for the image. So Dan City TV uh, material. Okay. You we'll see it's a bit grainy, but um, that's actually not too unreasonable for a CCTV system. So let's test it out. La la la, running around, press C, and now we get our CCTV image, which is kind of blocky and difficult. We've also got the controls were as they were, um, including the fact that if I use the mouse, I can change the direction of the character. It's not that easy to control, but you can still see what's going on there. Um, and there you have it. I've created a simple CCTV system, and that's it from me for now.